going to take you through how to do the no sew eye pillow they don't necessarily look as finished and as neat as these when i make them that might be different for when you make them so just bear that in mind and um, right so you're going to need a couple of things for this so like before i showed you the um the fillings i'm going to use sand for this um and it's the perfect solution it's going to be less messy i hope than the flower you also need some kind of a absorbent fabric this is a piece of um oh it's like a brushed cotton but you can use cotton you can use a bit of sock um you can use just like a bit of cut off bit of sock anything that will hold the, the scent ideally it needs to be um slightly shorter but the same width as um your inner bag and i'll show you how to make that in a minute right so we've got that then you can either use socks now everybody's got socks in our house we have a, a sock monster that eats a sock and we have dozens and dozens of spare socks um so we've actually stolen these these are actually a pair of socks which my husband socks but they are clean and um, stolen them off him generally our spare socks in our house go to make dog toys because our dog's quite destructive so we make dog toys with them um, but I've rescued these from my husband's sock drawer. So, the other thing then that you will need, before I forget, is a plastic bag. Now, it's really important which type of bag you use. Because you're going to fill it with sand. So, whilst these bags are great, the chances of this leaking, because there is no seal on it, even if you tape it shut, um, are quite high. The other problem with these bags is they've got this fold in them. So it creates a bit of a nightmare when you're trying to get sand in and for it to sit nicely. So only use those if you're absolutely desperate and can't get this type. So these are like the, I think they're called like Ziploc bags that you can push down and will seal. We are also going to tape this shut because um, it's a belt and braces approach. So what you need to do for this is basically part fill your bag with sand. That's the first step. And the filling of this is much easier than doing the other ones and there's less likely, less uh, chance to make loads of mess. No, I think I might have overfilled this. No, I think we might get away with that. Okay, so you need to seal your bag. Leave a little bit of it open because we don't want any air left in here. Um, so I'm going to give it a good squish and when we fold it. And then just literally fold it over and squish all the air out. Because if there's air left in the bag, the sand isn't going to mould to the, the shape of your face as well. Okay, so that's our, our bag filled. The next thing then is we need to tape it shut. Now I'm going to use my teeth to cut the tape because that's just the way I've always done it. This is a really bad thing to do because it can damage your teeth. But it's one of those perhaps do as I say rather than do as I do moments. So just fold this top over and then tape it down and that just means then you've got some extra security so that your sand doesn't come pouring out the top if you haven't sealed it properly and what we need to do then is to fold it over now you want this edge to be on top because that will be quite uncomfortable if that's sitting next to your face so we'll tape that shut so this is going to be the upper side of our bag, our eye pillow. Okay, so that's done for now. The next thing you then need is your piece of absorbent fabric. Again, it can be cotton, it can be socks, it can be whatever you have lying around your house. And what we need to do, we're going to do lavender and chamomile again. I've doubled this up because I've got quite a bit of it. So um, again, lavender and chamomile just dot it onto the fabric and the really nice thing about this is you can reuse it so you can just whack this out of your your eye pillow if you decide that you want to change a different scent stick it in the washing machine and reuse it so that's that done so that's our stack building so for the outer cover the easiest thing in the world to use is a sock because it's already sealed at one end so you don't have to worry about that end 
and then for the other end there's a couple of ways that you can seal it so what you need to do is measure up from the toes on your bag so you can see it properly and you need to leave about two inches or five centimeters past the end of the bag because if you cut it the same length you're never going to get it sealed and your bag will come sliding out okay so i've done that and this is what i've ended up with and then i've got that end bit you could in theory use this bit left over to cover your bag and to put the scent on you know um, if you don't have anything like this you can use so just use what you've got at the end of the day i've chosen black socks well i haven't really chosen black socks but that was the pair that was available and um, but you can make this as bright as you like and because it's socks if you have cotton it just does feel quite nice so what you need to do you need to flatten out your sock as if your foot was going into it and what we're going to do is we're going to fill that bottom piece with the bag now the easiest way i've found to do this and the times i've practiced it is to feed this in first because trying to get this in once the sand the bag with the sand in is in is virtually impossible it just all rucks up and it, it would just be really uncomfortable okay so that's down I'm going to turn it over and then going to slip the bag over the top I don't know if you can see this so my fabric's there I've already worked up on the bottom so this will be the section that you put on your face so the the oils and that are away from this section this I think she says is much easier than trying to slot these bags into each other mainly because we're using plastic and if you're feeling really environmentally friendly use an old sandwich bag make sure it's nice and clean and um, but recycle a sandwich bag okay so my bag comes to here now so that's nicely filled what i'm then going to do with the heel part of the sock here i'm going to fold the top part in so we're left with that shape and then i'm going to fold it in again and fold it in again now you have a couple of options about how you seal this <laughs> slightly practical one but possibly not the most comfortable is one of these bag clips um however it's possibly not the most comfortable option but if you've got these lying around if you do use them make sure the sticky outy bit is upwards because you don't want that sat on your face i'm going to use a hair bubble which i've moved and now ah, there we go just a plain old hair bubble i have loads of these lying around the house they're the bane of my husband's life they fight, they turn up in the washing machine, they're everywhere. So just a plain old bobble or elastic band, just around the end and double it up. Okay. And just make sure that the end bits are tucked in so it keeps it all together. And that is your, what, five minutes it's taken to do this? Eye pillow. You can do them, you can do them without using socks because you know some people might want to they don't want to put socks on their faces so another alternative is to just use a piece of fabric you can use a hanky whatever you've got lying around shirts t-shirts whatever you want as long as the fabric you can use is going to feel nice and soft on your face i like cotton because i think it's quite a cool fabric as in temperature rather than cool um, and it's just quite nice it doesn't it doesn't rub or anything on your face so i've got this enormous hanky it is clean so what i would do i'd probably use a piece of fabric this this size so i'd cut anything to about this size i think it's probably about it's a quick check it's about 14 inches square um so i would line up my eye pillow with one end and literally just roll it up like so and just squish, make sure that your, your bag's level because the last thing you want is it to be all wonky and folded strange. So you folded this and it's good practice for wrapping Christmas presents. So you folded that, give it a flat, give it a flatten down. Take the edges up on both sides. Now you can do this in a couple of different ways. You can do it like this, where you fold it up, find your trusty hairband and just tie it around again actually that doesn't look too bad it would look nicer with with patterned fabric and then that's obviously the part that you put on your face or I have got some pre prepared ribbon you can make it into looking like a cracker so 
So just tie, just realised I've only cut one of these. Tie the ends. And this is even quicker than the last option. And like I say, anybody can do this. And there you go. And there's your eye pillow. No so eye pillow. Dead easy. Anybody can make them.